Hello. Since the current global crisis has mildly inconvenienced me by slowing down all of my shipments, I don't have an actual video for this Thursday, so I thought I would just give you all an update on all the different projects I have going on. This is my Honda Insight. Not much has changed here. Um, this is waiting for parts that needs uh, O2 sensors done and remove this and it's pretty much good to go at that point. I, I've pretty much hammered out everything else here. Did a, I swapped out some fuel injectors a little while ago and um, there was a, a box to modify the TPS for better fuel economy, which I bypassed because it had gotten so far out of adjustment that I just really didn't know how to fix it. Um, I bypassed that and pretty much all of my errors have gone away except for codes for the uh, O2 sensors, which have uh, just kind of, you know, gone bad and, and this car really leans on those for uh, air to fuel ratio. So uh, yeah, another video with this coming up soon, as soon as uh, parts get in. This my Ducati. It's in pieces. Big shock. Um, after redoing the whole charging system, turns out the battery wasn't super happy with me after it getting so far discharged so many times. So uh, might buy a new battery, might see if I can somehow rejuvenate this one, but I doubt it. I just haven't really been too motivated to fix that. Took the tank off because some more of the liner that was in there has failed. Um, turns out that the what I used to clean it did get all the rust out, but did not get the old tank liner out. So now I have to clean it again with something different. I'm going to try acetone. I didn't think that everyone wanted to see the same thing six times, so I wasn't going to make a video about that. That's just something that's happening. What I will be making a video on eventually is repairing the uh, fiberglass fairings on this because they are pretty trashed. Probably won't make a video about rebuilding the carbs because that's, I mean, it's, I think I've done that four times on this channel so far. Go watch one of those videos. Oh, I did recently replace the tachometer cable. Um, my old one broke, put a new one in. It took 30 seconds and was incredibly uninteresting. Other than that, this bike rides great. It's getting nice out. I should probably stop procrastinating and just fix it, but you know. This is what I bought to ride because the Ducati is broken and also because I'm getting fat. It's a 2011 era, I believe, uh, Gary Fisher Tassahara. Decent mountain bike, first mountain bike I've had since I was like 17 when I had my first mountain bike. I used to do a bunch of races and stuff with a like 50 pound Walmart mongoose. It was a, it was, you know, a good bike for a kid, but I started trying to get a bit more seriously into the hobby than one really should with a bike like that. And it would break down every time I'd go to a race. So I got this, um, it's aluminum, it's super lightweight, hardtail, I love it. Uh, a couple things I wanna do, it's got clipless pedals, I wanna just get some regular platforms for now. I just ride in, I, I ride in Brooks. Come on now, I don't, I don't need clipless pedals. But other than that, it's fantastic. The shifters, I can actually get to all the gears. You know, my old grip shifters, you'd have to adjust it and you'd have to decide, oh, do I want the top two chain rings or do I want the bottom two chain rings? Because you could never get the adjustment right to where it would get all three. But this thing's great, it's super lightweight. And uh, I've gone to the single tracks once and tore my leg up because of the clipless pedals. But you know, it is what it is. This thing's pretty fun. I actually got a package deal on that motorcycle. Came with this Trek. My wife rides it and we go riding together. It's quite fun. Bound to be wild. The Rebel, nothing's happened. Really need to get the rest of the wiring harness off, get the front forks off and start uh, modifying and painting the frame. But uh, yep, this is my grill because I'm a homeowner. Therefore, I must have a grill that I never use. This is my funnel. It is red, just like my grill and my door. This is my 2002 Lexus IS300. Wait, this is my 2002 Lexus IS300. It needs quite a lot. Front bumper, front right fender, hood, all need replaced and repainted. Most of the car needs repainted actually, probably all of it. It also needs all of the front suspension replaced. All the bushings are just shot and probably most of the exhaust as well. It also has some uh, minor rust issues that could quickly become major rust issues, so uh, those will certainly need addressed. Hopefully I'll get to this car when the Honda inside is done. It'd be nice to make this thing nice. I do quite like these wagons. This is my 2007 Miata. I think it's an 07. Is this an 08? What is this? 
The sticker in the door says it's an 07, so we'll go with that. I think the last video I made on this, I put the suspension on it and literally nothing's happened to it since then. I don't hardly even ever haven't drived it since the drived driven. I've hardly even driven it since then. Regardless, hopefully some parts coming soon as I try to make this thing race ready. The idea was to track this car. That's kind of what I bought it for to be a, a daily that I could track. Unfortunately, um, all motorsports is kind of not happening right now. So um, throwing money at this would be pretty dumb, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would do that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's that's what I've got going on for projects right now, excluding, you know, my house. But this is like sort of an automotive channel, so I don't think anyone cares about my adventures in replacing, you know, door handles and light bulbs and painting cabinets. I've pretty much just been staying home through this whole thing. I'm an essential worker, so it's been work and then come home. Um, you know, we're doing what we can, just trying to stay safe and avoid uh, taking any unnecessary risks that could prove expensive or hazardous to your health or hazardous to your wallet or both. The delivery date on some of my parts is this weekend, so hopefully next week I'll actually be able to get some stuff done. You want to see some videos of bike riding? There's some decent trails around here. I've been wanting to get back into trail riding. Could throw up some POV stuff, maybe some commentary, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how... Um, uh, entertaining I can make that but I might give it a shot who knows bikes are neat bicycles are kind of neat I mean it's like a motorcycle but uh, uh, it's powered by your legs it's a leggy cycle anyway that pretty much does it thanks for watching and thanks for caring and thanks for uh, interacting with my videos and I will see y'all next time